Okay, did you hear that we've got the reopening date for General Hospital? A couple more weeks, we'll be going back. Wow, moving all those patients is going to be a nightmare. Yes, but at least we'll have our own lockers. And daycare will be downstairs, not halfway across town. Sounds like heaven to me. <laughs> a good night's sleep sounds like heaven. Oh, is Emma not sleeping well? Is that a mom thing? Does everything I say have to be about my daughter? I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. I feel like I haven't slept in days. Then why don't you go home and take a nap before your consult with Dr. Kendricks? Actually, Robin, you know what? I can take over your consult and, you know, you have your first session with Dr. Brown, remember? Dr. Weiss needs you right away and post up. The bleeding hasn't stopped. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. I'll go to the session. I promise. Okay, you know what? Maybe I'll talk to Dr. Hendricks and see if we can put off the consult a couple hours and then you can do it. Thanks. I appreciate that. Okay. Go. I'll be fine. All right. Let's wait to see those scans in 417 until we get back to General Hospital if we can. Okay. And, um, did you hear from Robin by chance? No, I haven't. Okay, well, that's assuming she actually went to psychiatrist and keep driving. Oh, I don't think she's gonna do that again. Well, who knows these days? I never thought she'd drive away from family in the first place and have a one-night stand, but she did. Okay, uh, technically, all you saw was a kiss. You don't really know what happened. Uh, Elizabeth? I appreciate that, but I know what I saw. I used to be one of those guys. An attractive woman showed up at a bar, single, no kids, their own business. Why wouldn't I sleep with her? I walked in on Lucky and Maxie once. It was, um, it was really bad and uncomfortable. And eventually I understood that the affair, the lies, the fighting, it was all part of his addiction. I know Robin's making some crazy decisions right now, and I know they're based on postpartum depression, but Robin is not the only one that gave up a lot for this marriage. So did I, and right now, I'm not even sure who I'm married to anymore. Robin is dealing with a serious medical illness, but you know it's temporary. <laughs> yes, I do, but the choices she makes, they still count. I agree. And it's not wrong for you to expect her to go to that doctor's appointment. But I'm also thinking that you need to get some help. I'm not sick. And I'm not an addict. But I got to help him like he was using and it made a huge difference. Okay, great. But what about Emma? She needs her mother. This is the time that they should be bonded. And they will. They will. You know, another thing that drives me a little bit crazy is why is she so miserable? I mean, she has so much. Robin is very used to controlling every aspect of her life, and having Emma has really thrown her for a loop. But I have faith that she's going to work through this postpartum, and she's going to find herself again. I know. And you know what? I have to remember how frustrating this must be for Robin. I know deep down she really, really wants to be a good mother. And she will. Just give her time. I'll try. Well, with any luck, she'll end up just like you.